All right, YouTube, we're here for round four of the challenge. We're currently two and one. We lost to Miracles. We beat some Zebra Station deck. And we beat Delver to start. We are on the draw. This hand's pretty solid. A little weak to like a real aggro combo deck, but like, you know, our four True Name Nemesis deck is going to be weak to that game one anyways. My opponent's name is funny. All right, Basic Island Ponderosa. This makes you think we're playing against like Miracles. Drew another fetch land so I can afford to play a fetch land here to not get wastelated in case we're playing the mirror. I would love to spell there something here. Ain't gonna happen, Chief. I'm gonna play a Valk. Because I think we're playing against a control deck. Your brainstorm bud, what are you doing? You're fetching. Did you know that card there? It's like intuition. No, that doesn't make sense. Alright, so we're playing against either Stone Blade. It's odd. So I'm definitely gonna brainstorm end of turn to set up jam in this true name. Well, I might not bring so to turn now. <clears throat> so we'll be trading for a force of will. Cause, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go for it. Cowards can't block warriors. <clears throat> I doubt they have days. We're playing against yeah, we're playing against just stone blade. We are going to get two cards out of them here. Yeah. That's why we picked the spot there. Because they couldn't, they couldn't counterspell us. All right, that's okay. This is why we have the green splash. All right, so there's another true name. There's a lot of good cards right there. So let's go like this, this, play the fetch land, bolt the stone forge mystic. We kind of have true name nemesis covered, but not really. I thought it doesn't play a land and then jams true name. We have that covered, but. Here's what's happening. It's going to take a hell of a stack for them to win this one. Okay, we're going to fetch in our upkeep because this is nothing but lands. I'm going to get a second red source. Not showing the trap. Right. 
I true name you, you true name me, we all true name each other together. Well, now I feel stupid. So now we leave ourselves to my opponent just casting Batter Skull. We can bounce the token though with that, so that's a great draw. So I'm not even gonna do anything because we can just, like I want all my cards. My opponent goes and plays Batter Skull, we'll just bounce the token. And they're gonna lose so much tempo doing that. It's dead gone. All right, I'm gonna sh draw the Pierce. That resolves. So we're winning the race. So I should try to insulate myself against another one. But they only have one more. This is a big old shuffle. Okay, we're gonna leave that in our hand for a brainstorm. Now I'm going to spell pierce the batter skull. Don't Stoneforge Mystic me, okay. That is a way we lose. We lose to like Umazawa's Jete. Well, now we don't. But we can still kind of do, I guess. Um, what can my opponent have? I don't really know. Okay. They're dead here because if they force, they just die to my true names. Oh, well, you can't block it. That ain't how it works, Chief. Started recording. Yeah, I did. Okay. Let's go look at a sideboard thing here. Stone blade. Okay. So in stone blade, I cut my spell pierces. Cut my dead gone. Cut my lava man. Cut my vapor snag. Cut Fork Bolt. Cut two Wastelands. Sideboarding in. One Fluster Storm. Fluster Storm's kind of mean. Maybe I shouldn't be sideboarding that in. We'll work on that later. Fluster Storm. Um. Three blasts. These blasts are just to win the true name fights. Two library, two grudges. And one Snapcaster Mage. Sort that converted mana cost. Sort that converted mana cost. Okay. Submit. All right, we want to see ourselves a Sylvan Library on turn two. Well, 
That ain't good. My opponent keeps as well. All right, we're going to keep, and I will ditch this true name. I'm going to play by Delver on turn one. I could brainstorm and try to play a library game, but if I had like a spell snare, I would think about it because then I could spell snare a um, Stoneforge Mystic. I just shuffled you. All right. Don't wasteland me, bro. At least now I have a good card to pitch to force. I think I would rather get my beats on a little bit to get ahead in the true name race. Nope. Okay. I'm going to start with an attack. And then I'm going to brainstorm and hope to hit another land drop like a professional. Right, I did. What am I interested in? I might want to put back library lightning bolt so that then I can have all my true name nemesis nemesi and be able to go like like for next turn I can go I can force a true name with Flusterstorm back up. Yeah. I guess I could have, but I want to keep my land so that I can then follow up with one. Oh, I should have stacked it differently because now my Delver doesn't flip. Well, if I hit a land, it's so good. I think I fucked up my uh, ordering there because now my Delver's not going to flip. Yeah, now my Delver's not going to flip. So now I kind of have to force a Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah, that wasn't great. God damn it. So now I think I just go force pitch true name. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Force of Will, Pitch, True Name Nemesis. My opponent flusters. Oh, they don't fluster. Okay. No, no. We're not going to show. I'm going to attack. I'm just going to play Library. Like, they, they play Supreme Verdict. That's why I hope the way people play Constructed. Sorry, I'm, I'm a little caught up here. Because I don't want to get verdicted and have nothing. And I can probably force through this library right now. Okay, so I can smell a council's judgment coming. I don't care about this Delver. <clears throat> this Delver's done its job. All right, that's not good, but. Batter's call, okay. What were real pirate laws? Always yield, always yes. Okay.
Okay, so I can just play True Name, but then I have to find a way to deal with Batter Skull or find another True Name. And I cannot cover my opponent's True Name Nemesis. So I think I've actually just got to ponder and try to find Lightning Bolt. All right, that's not Lightning Bolt, but it's still pretty good. So now I'll play this, and I can then play True Name to hold off Batter Skull. No, I didn't think so. I just didn't think that was the game. What the game was about. Okay, so I want one of these lands. So I'm going to put this on top. I'm going to attack. And then I have another Valk in my deck, and I'm going to want to fetch. So let's just get this in play. Because now this checks Batter Skull. <clears throat> yep, you get the Stoneforge Mystic going on. Yeah, I'm so dead to like a Sword of Fire and Ice. <clears throat> I have to fetch in my upkeep. We're still okay here because even my opponent goes True Name. I can then go Blast. If they go f whatever, then I can... All right, so now I just fluster storm this. Okay, same targets. My opponent storms back. Okay. Now all this occurs, and I'm just going to save myself time, and I'm just going to daze the Fluster Storm now before the stack clears, and I'll protect my green source. Now if they have Force Blue card, okay. And there's our grudge. Um, I'm going to put both of these on top. Put on top. And this is why the green splash is the knife. Type for six. I might as well ponder to get the days into my hand. Because now they're dead to the true name next turn because of the lightning bolt in my hand. There's another grudge too. We don't need that one. But we're going to go like this. I guess, because my opponent goes, I guess I'll just daze a jet. I didn't really think about that. Library and Blue White Shadow. That's tough to do in a Him to Torok deck. Him to Torok daze deck. It's tough splashing. Um, pick up my unique land. Then I blast. My opponent's dead as a doorknob. Yep, there we go. Nice. 
And that's like Sylvan Library is just the nut right now, I think. I think like you can pace the true name mirrors to get actually ahead on cars. Cause like it's my like little rant. Bitter Blossom sucks out of these out of these decks right now. Um thank you for the subscription there, Carve PS. Because you cannot control the life loss of Bitter Blossom. Everybody's ready for minus one, minus one tokens. And if they deal, like, decks like Miracles are already terminating away the board, and then they can just trade, and they've only taken some damage. The damage from Sylvan Library is immediately done. So this is the card, like, this is the card you want to be playing. 